Hello, welcome to my video covering all of the extensions and the user scripts that I use every day when I'm playing Neopets. Um, all of the user scripts that I use are on the R Neopets Reddit. They are under the user scripts section. They are all tagged as safe ones that are allowed to be used on Neopets. According to their rules, last updated March of 2020, that means that none of these do anything automated or can be seen as cheating on the site. Um, to start off with, we're going to start with the easier one, which is going to be rough. I'm sure if you've played a Neopet game recently, you may have seen this pop up. That's because Neopets has been working with Ruffle and integrating it into their website so that you can play some of the older games without Flash. If you don't know what Flash is, please Google a video because I am not qualified to tell you anything about it because I know nothing about it. But Neopets was very, very reliant on Flash for a lot of their animations and stuff like that, making a lot of things on the site not playable. Ruffle has come in though and kind of saved that aspect so that we can still experience it. It's also super easy to add to your browser. So to get started, you want to come up to the top to downloads and it will take you down to pretty much every single browser. I have used pretty much every browser except for Microsoft Edge with all of these extensions and user scripts. Um, if you're doing this for Opera GX, just download everything for Chrome. Uh, it will work exactly the same way and I haven't had any issues out of it. Since for this example I'm using Chrome because on this computer I don't use Chrome for any of these and I don't have them installed, I, everything in this tutorial will be for Chrome. So we're going to go to the Chrome store, click add to Chrome, and then you'll see a little pop up at the top asking if you can add it, hit add extension, it'll take a few seconds, and then it'll show you it, that it's been added to Chrome. From here, go to whatever your extension menu is, and then you want to open the Ruffle extension and make sure that the option at the very top that says play Flash content in Ruffle is clicked. This will make sure that anything that is Flash will go ahead and run in it. You can, if you want, select the bottom one that is auto play Flash content so that if it detects anything on a web page that is Flash, it'll go ahead and play it. So completely up to you if you want to do that. But after that, that's really all you do. So for example, just so we can see Ruffle in action, so this should fix pretty much any issues that you're having with Flash. Now, to get the user scripts to work, you're going to need an extension that can essentially run those scripts. So we want to go ahead, I don't do the beta one, so I just do the standard one. Again, all of this is for Chrome, and I'll have everything linked down below. It knows that I'm on a Chrome browser, so it redirected me to Chrome. Click Add to Chrome. It'll ask you if it's okay to add this extension. Go ahead and click Add Extension. Give it a few seconds. It'll show you that Tamper Monkey has been added, and then it'll automatically redirect you to their website, just explaining a little bit more about what Tamper Monkey is, saying that it was installed. A word of warning, um, all of the scripts that I'm going over today have been safe, but please, please, please do your research, make sure everything's okay for you because you can easily add malicious scripts using Tamper Monkey. So like I said, every, I haven't had any issues out of any of these ones from Reddit I've used, but this is literally the only things I use it for. So just a word of caution, just to make sure you're staying safe out there. So once we've got Tamper Monkey installed is when we're gonna add our scripts. I use a few different scripts to kind of help me out on Neopets. The very first one that we're going to go over is going to be the Grumpy and Wise King autofill avatar question. For this one, it automatically just randomly fills the fields for both the Grumpy King and the Wise King, just so that you don't have to select anything from the link below. Scroll down and then you'll see a link right here. Now they're using Greasy Fork for this. You can use Greasy Fork as well if you want. It's pretty much the same thing as Tamper Monkey. So click install the script. And then if you have Tamper Monkey, it'll automatically redirect you to where Tamper Monkey can install it. Come over here to install, click install. If you click and navigate over to Tamper Monkey, you can go to your dashboard. And then we can see here that the Grumpy King autofill is here and it is enabled. And now we can see it in action. It just autofills everything for us, just so we don't have to, so we can blast through our dailies a little bit faster. So the next user script that we're going to do is the lottery ticket generator. This does not increase your chances of winning the lottery. 
this is not what this is for. This is simply the exact same thing as clicking the random button that are beside all of the lottery numbers that you need to put in. Again, saving us one step of having to either click the button or put our own numbers in. To install this one, exact same thing. We're going to go down to this link, click it, and then again, Greasy Fork will open. Don't worry about it, it's okay. We can still use Tamper Monkey for this. Click install this script. It will open in Tamper Monkey and then click install. If we open our extensions menu, go to Tamper Monkey, go to our dashboard, we can see that the lottery ticket generator is already here. Now, one note with this, I did have issues when I first installed this with it not working. Once you install it, come over here and click edit. And then you want to look for this URL right here. So you need to add an S here. And then once we've added our S, come over here to file, click save, or you can hit control S and it will be updated for you. We can go see it in action. Whenever we go over to the lottery ticket page, we can see that it's automatically generating those numbers for us. Again, just making it one less step in our dailies. The next script that we're gonna cover is I think my favorite and my most used script, hands down, if you've seen any of my videos. This is going to be the search helper script. This one adds little icons right below every single item on Neopets. This extension will add all of these little buttons below pretty much every single item on the site. And to explain what they do, this first one is to search with the Super Shop Wizard. The second one is the Standard Shop Wizard. The next one is going to be the Trading Post. The next one is going to be the Auction House. The next one is our Safety Deposit Box. And then the very last one is going to be Jelly Neo. So to add this user script, you wanna scroll down and you'll see a GitHub link right here. Click on it. And then since we have Tamper Monkey installed, we just hit install. This one will open up a separate link to GitHub and it'll look like absolutely nothing happened. Navigate over to your Tamper Monkey dashboard. And then we can see that it is indeed installed right here. The next one that I think is pretty helpful, I have it, I don't use it a ton, but I still think it's kind of helpful, is going to be a sidebars daily user script. Now this will only show up on the old Neopets site. So the newer Neopets site, it will not show up on, but any of the older pages, it will show up on. Just to go through everything that it has on it, it has all six wheels, it has the three training schools, it has items that you can do multiple times a day, such as the Fountain Fairy, getting your healing, the Termunculus, any of these things, the lever that you can pull, the wishing well, and then it has once per day things such as the neck puzzle, the daily question. If you have the lab maps for both the pet pet and the secret lab, it's got those on there. And then at the very bottom, it's got all of your quests. So for this one, we're just going to go to the link right here. And then this one's going to be just a little different from the others, but it's still really easy to install. You will see at the top right, a button that says raw. Go ahead and click it and then it will automatically redirect you to Tamper Monkey. From there, same thing as normal, we just click install. If we navigate to our Tamper Monkey dashboard, we can see that it is here and active. Now the very last one that I use every single day, and I'm going to say it wrong, is the Shinku Lunar Temple user script. This one automatically highlights the correct answer for it. So again, we're going to click on the link to the script from the subreddit page. This does say Greasy Fork. Again, that's totally cool. Tamper Monkey still works. Just click install this script. And then once the page pops up, click install. Nothing will happen. But when we navigate to our dashboard for our Tamper Monkey, we can see that it's right here. So that is every single script that I use every single day on Neopets. As you can see, from the link from the subreddit. There are tons and tons more. There's lots of helpful ones, such as a training reminder so that you can see how long your pet still has in training. And you can see whenever they're done, just so you can swap them out easier, things like that. Um, I don't particularly use any of those. I don't need any of those, but I highly suggest looking through this list and giving each of the creators of these their credit. They have done such amazing work for the community and I appreciate everyone so, so, so much. 
This video is part of my Neopets basic series where I try to cover just the basics of everything that kind of confused me on Neopets. Um, I'm not a master. I've only just recently come back into Neopets playing it. But if you have any questions, please let me know below. I just want to help everybody and I want Neopets to be played by everyone and, and for everyone to have as much fun as I am with it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I hope you have an awesome day in Neopia. Bye!